I have your fowl right here with the rest of them. Just took it dry up a little bit before I ship it to you. Hallelujah! Yes, honey, yes! Mama got a new orchid. Mama got a new orchid. So this beautiful orchid was um, my dream orchid from a heavily garden. I had been dreaming about it for about... Um, three, four months, and finally, I reached out to a heavenly garden to try to purchase it after my dear foul pal, Danielle, um, she found the name of this orchid. Now, because a heavenly garden does not carry name tags, Orchid Diva, foul pal Blanca, she went through uh, the extreme of having everyone that was there um, including the people that work, of course, but the customers specifically, all of those people was helping her to find this beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid that is not in spite, but is in bloom. So Orchid Diva, um, Fal Pals, we really have to cherish her because Orchid Diva goes beyond, honey. She goes beyond. I have no clue how... Okay, 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 honey. I gotta go get this frame, honey. I gotta go get it framed. Dear Fal Pal Durrell, uh, look, only a good person would write something like that. A little flower. I hope she gets to you in one piece. Enjoy her and keep me posted. Hope you like. Little Diva, <laughs> my gift to you. She's purple. Uh, oh, lots of love. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God, Orchid Diva, thank you. Oh, Jesus, I didn't know I was not expecting it. Oh, Jesus, oh, no. Oh, Fam Pal Blanca. I want that Zygo. But this is precious. Thank you so much. I am just very humbled. I am very pleased. I don't care what's in here. Um, I have a personal orchid from Orchid Diva, honey. Spreading the love. And you did such a phenomenal job wrapping this. Now, Fam Pals, when I get to mailing out orchids next year... Um, when I get to uh, mailing out orchids next year, honey, it might not be wrapped up this nice, okay? So, honey, give me a break. Oh, it's a... Shut the... No! No, Orchid Diva! You are wrong! I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh my God, I'm so glad I recorded this. Orchid Diva, Fal Pals, if you don't know anything about me, honey, I love me a mini. I love more. What I love even more than a mini is a cakey. Oh my God, I am so enthused. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me hurry up. I know. I know y'all like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So let me try opening this up from the, well, let me try opening this up the other way. I promise, Fail Pals, I was not trying to make this a long video at all. I have to go pick my daughter up in a few minutes. Um, this beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid, it took three days to get here, but I picked it up at the post office before it actually made it to the truck to go out for delivery. Um, but I, I, I know already that it's going to be fine because... Um, my other orchids, Phalaenopsis orchids, I purchased from Heavily Garden. They um, endured quite the same treatment coming from um, Florida to Alabama it, oh, in a rental car. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, 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 no, no. 
Oh, it's so big. Oh, fail pals. I'm all to the ceiling. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, fail pals. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Can you see? Oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Some of the buds are, um, I think the flower spike is broken. Oh, man. Let's um, figure out what's going, yeah, it's, oh. Yeah, it's broken, um, but it's not broken all the way, so all I have to do is just get a clip. Can you even see, honey? I'm way up here in the ceiling, honey. Uh-oh. So, um, where is it? I don't want to mess it up any worse than what it is. But um, right here is the little crack. So all you have to do is just hold it up. And um, this one is blooming. It just looks as if she's very dehydrated. So let me clean her off and um, put this clip on here and I'll be right back, Fab Pal. So please stay tuned, please. So a mess later, okay, a mess later. But um, as you can see, the roots on this Phalaenopsis um, looks very good, very healthy. Um, Blanca did a great job with keeping this baby hydrated and moist. Um, for the several days that she was on a delivery truck. So the roots look very good. The leaves look even better because um, I love what I love more than a cakey and then a, a, um, a miniature phalaenopsis is going to be a medium-sized phalaenopsis. So I love that she is not um, taking up any half of the house like her twin sister in the other room so foul pals this is the same orchid that i just purchased off of ebay that is currently in spike and this is what she will look like i i am just i cannot wait until i get some time to just sit in the house and look at this baby um put this baby in some good light so you can really see her uh, I mean, it's just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, one tip and trick is when you get your phalaenopsis out of the box, okay, you want to try to do the best that you can to not place her under any extra stress, okay? So the next thing that you want to do is determine which way would she face. I would say that you would place this um for this part of the phalaenopsis facing the window because the spike is in the back and it grows towards wherever the sun is. So it's going to be facing this way. That's a tip and trick for you guys, okay? All right, well, here she is. I already brought her home. She's got one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six buds. Look at her lip. Remember that there's no tags. Heavenly Garden doesn't doesn't have them with tags, but uh, Bill chose this one for you. It has eight leaves. Everything looks super healthy. Uh, four on that side, four on this side. Now it does have a little bit of a black spot, but they said that that's not, not a big deal. It could be just um, like a little sunburn. It's not fungal, or but they could say you can always um, remove that leaf just in case. These look good. This was the best one of the bunch. So, there you go. So, Fail Pals, I wanted you guys to get a look with the good lighting of these Phalaenopsis that I received from Orchid Diva. This one I actually um, put into a hanging basket. And um, she has been outside in the rain for the past couple of days. Um, she's dry right now. We're going to let her have a nice old dry day. But this miniature Phalaenopsis, um, she's going to live her best life and um, quite possibly rebloom for me, honey. You know, I love to have the girls rebloom for me. Now, Fal Pal Blanca, it's been about, um, it's been about a week since it's been here. And I just wanted you to see that this was something that had concerned me. Um, you have a yellow leaf right here. Now, 
of course it did not look like this when you were sending it to me and it's going to be fine it's just something that i want to keep my eye on as well as i did get bud blast so um and this was the bloom that opened up for me you can see the leaves are a little wrinkly from um her being dehydrated but um she is going to be the most normal um bloom that i have now this one over here it looks as if she is about to blast this wheel right there um those two they blasted unfortunately and it's okay fab pal blanca because girl honey as long as she's in a healthy orchid i will do my best to bring her back these blooms had drooped down and now you can see they did perk up a little bit um so those are the blooms that i would have to enjoy now this baby right here um i think that she might be blasting i'm not sure you can never really tell um, honestly, with different um, Phalaenopsis. Pal, Pal Blanca from Orchid Diva, I thank you so much. Please tell Bill from Heavily Garden and his lovely wife that this orchid is at a good place, honey. She is going to be well taken care of. And I have also named this beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid Anna after my dear Fal Pal Anna, the Swedish orchid hoarder, honey. I will leave all of that information at the end of this video. But until next time.